Hello, welcome back. Are you guys ready for another DIY? All right, you're gonna need some spray bottles. These are dollar item spray bottles. Uh, some paint, I'm using black, black chalkboard. Yeah, paintbrush. And I have my hot glue gun turned on right now and warming up. I have some twine. Yeah, so you guys get your supplies together and I'll wait for you. All right, guys, ready? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get some paint. And again, I'm using chalk, just chalkboard paint. You can use anything you want. Um, I have two dollar bottles. Now, I'm not using the sprayers. You can take them out, but I would suggest saving them because, uh, you guys, they're great for if you have a bottle of lo if you have some lotion that you super you really like, you can put these in your bottle. Oh, works good. You may have to dilute it a little bit, but you guys think outside the box. You can do it. Not only that, but they're great to put in your um, cleaning supply bottles. All right, so have you figured out what we're going to do? That's right, we're going to paint these. And again, like I said, I'm using chalkboard paint. Most likely way more than I need. And be you guys, I turned my glue gun off until um, I need it because it heats up super duper fast. That's that one I told you I did a review on. Um, this is the one I did the review on. The Bleds Cordless. Oh, super, super happy with it. I say it all the time. I'm going to use it until it doesn't work anymore. Alright, so we're just going to paint. We're going to paint it. And I'm going to do two of them. You guys. So... Since it's so close to Father's Day and I haven't even done any Father's Day uh, DIY ideas, you can so make this into a dad's gift. Dads love gift ideas. Or, you know, maybe a father figure, maybe uh, an uncle, a grandpa, anybody. And again, this is chalkboard paint. I use this because it covers nice. But if you don't have any chalkboard paint, uh, you can make your own. I have a video. But it's just uh, baking soda and paint. And you mix it. Just mix it. <laughs> and do the top. Now... Kids, older kids like me, younger kids, if you get dirty while you do this, I suggest wearing gloves or an apron. <laughs> or if you just really don't mind at all, have fun, because that's what it's all about, having fun. Having fun, saving money. And making some really nice decor that you can actually use and display. Am I staying within frame? It is another beautiful day out. So thankful for this weather. So you guys, kids, you don't need to spend a lot of money to have gifts for Father's Day. And like I said, you don't have to use black. You can use white, you can use tan, you can use 
you can think outside the box and you could do a whole rainbow display and set it on your fireplace with a pretty little flower in each one. So I'm going to set these off to the side and let them dry and we'll be right back. And you guys, because I'm totally prepared for this video, I'm going to go out in the driveway and if I have to, I'm going to walk to the creek to find some rocks for our next DIY while um, our bottles are drying. Um, take a coffee break. I'll be right back. Okay, I found some rocks. Rinsed them off and I'm going to go let them dry. So for video purposes, we are just going to continue on. These are almost dry. It is very nice out today. So we are going to need whichever kind of twine you pick. Whatever kind. I'm going to turn my hot glue gun on while we're doing this. Just in case I decide I want it. And some wooden beads. I want to make sure... No, I want to see if this tapestry needle fits through. Oh, thank goodness. I have extra glue sticks. I love this box. It's perfect. It's not like I'm putting the glue gun back in it. Okay. So we need some twine. I have some cut pieces here. I don't know if they're long enough, but... Oh, they're totally long enough. And what we're going to do is wrap it around the top. I don't think I need... I do, actually. I like it like this. I'm going to knot it. I save all the extra stuff and then yes they're way long we're gonna cut them do I have scissors oh my gosh you guys I do not I'll be right back <laughs> and you guys because I'm totally not a professional <laughs> I say that in all my er morning videos. Um, yeah, I should have turned it on a little sooner because it's not quite ready yet. It does heat up fast. But um, I'm ready before it is. Huh. But it is warming up fast. So I have cut the strands. And um, yeah, now we're waiting. <laughs> I'm going to add beads to the strands. And sure, we, I'm probably going to even cut them shorter. Maybe even put a little bow on it. Um, or you guys, maybe even one of these little tags again. Yes, I only have these little hearts. But they're super cute. Let's see. Let's see if it is warm enough. Um... Why we're doing really good, guys. <laughs> oh, crap, Ola. I was going to tie it in a knot, but I'm like, you know what? We're going to hot glue it. We don't really need to put it in a knot. Oh, yeah, it's ready. Like I said, it heats up fast. So we'll let that one dry. And where's my string? We'll do this one. No, 
know what? I'm going to cut it first. Doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. They don't, I mean, you can trim them up afterwards. It is beautiful today. I think I've already said that. I love this glue gun, you guys. I'm going to try to leave a link in the description box below for it. But like I mentioned in the other one, it's a bled cordless hot glue gun. Just put those keywords in your Amazon search. It pulls up the first page. Be. <laughs> Let those dry. You guys, take a coffee break. Take a be kind break. Can never go wrong. Okay, what else do we have here? We need to put some beads on here, right? So, I guess I probably should have done this a little differently. But... <laughs> it's not one of my videos if we are not rethinking these. And knowing there was probably a better way. Try to stuff them in that tapestry needle. Oh yeah, there we go. How many do you think we should put on there? Oh, let's see how many fit. Two. Or three. Because they'll be on both sides. Three, totally, yes. I'm just going to put a couple knots here and hot glue the end so these don't fall off. You can get real creative with these beads, too, you guys. You can um, paint them. You could uh, coffee dye them, tea dye them. You want to be real creative, you could get um, colored water. Just paint them. <laughs> I like to use uh, colored water when I am dying pages for my junk journals. Whoops, I think these are two strands. So you guys, making things more difficult than they need to be again. Shove that bad boy right in there. There we go. And I'm going to put three beads on here. Watch me drop them all because it's not a Grandma Gaines video if I'm not having bloopers. And again, tie some knots. A whole bunch of knots. Or just hot glue. You could even stick some feathers in there if you want. They are beautiful with some feathers. Just a little bit of hot glue so nothing goes anywhere. 
And again, we will trim these down, you guys. I'm gonna do the other one and I'll meet you back here when I'm done. Okay, so I have the second one completed. I haven't trimmed them yet. And um, you guys, I wished I would have put a little more room. See how these ones dangle more? I wished I would have done that on my first one, but that's okay. Hey, I could take it apart if I wanted to, but we craft, but hey, craft on the fly, right? We craft, we go with our mistakes and it's super adorable anyway. So I've also decided, oopsie, some spots are still a little wet. I've also decided to add a chalkboard heart to one of them. Uh, you get four of them in the Dollar Tree uh, Crafter Square section. You get four in the package. And I'm thinking, I don't, it doesn't really matter which one you put it on, but. Just going to put a little knot on it. And hot glue it into place. When I'm done, I'm going to cut all the little stragglers off. I want this in between. Something like that. So I'm just going to hot glue it into place. I'm going to let it dangle. Oh, yeah. No, that's perfect. So I'll move them little beads out of the way. Just hot glue it in place. Don't mind the be kind beads. Bees. <laughs> They're here to stay. There's really not much we can do about it. There. So hot glue that adorable little trinket into place like so don't worry about the glue globs they dry fairly clear and I'll, I'll probably put something on there anyway you know me we have to embellish it and so it seemed if it starts to get heavy, top heavy on you guys, hey, we could put some stones in there. These are not the ones that I picked out of the driveway. They're just for stability. So you don't have to fill it all the way up. Just a little bit. Much better. You could put as much in there as you want. Um, so my next thing I want to do is I want to put a little bow right here. Let me cut some of these. This one down. You don't need that. What am I going to put on this one? Do I want a tag on it? I do not want a tag on it. I want this one to look slightly different. So. But I'm going to put a bow on both of them. So I'm going to make a shoestring bow, which is just what it sounds like. Um, you tie a bow like you would your shoestrings. Unless your twine is super stiff. <laughs> you guys. Unless your twine is super stiff. There you go. Just like you're tying your shoes, Grandma. <laughs> now, you just adjust these down. I don't want them super huge. This might still be too big. I 
is perfect. It's perfect, guys. Who cares? It's perfect. Dad's going to love it anyway. Or Grandpa. Or Uncle. Or maybe you're just making it for yourself. Don't worry, it looks a little rough right now. We're going to fix it. Let's cut some of our string. We do want some of them. Totally get rid of those ones. Pick and choose. Oh, how'd that long one stay there? Get maybe a little shorter on that. There you go. Much better. And these ones. You don't even have to put a bow on it, you guys. It's perfect. It is perfect. Look. Dad could put his scissors in it. <clears throat> Dad could put his paintbrushes in it. What? Taller paintbrushes. Um, screwdriver. Oh my gosh, I wish I had a screwdriver. I don't. Anyway, I'm going to put you guys on pause, and I'm going to work on the next one. Okay, so I am finally back, and because you guys know me, I have to go over the top. <laughs> I have brought out some feathers. I put rocks in both of these. Uh, I brought out some feathers, and I'm going to embellish it. Now, you guys, if you have a dad or father figure who, you know, we could really 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 bling these up so you could use stones you can use broken jewelry oh my gosh you guys can use gorgeous beach glass we are just like you can see the lake from our house we are right close to Lake Erie which is a great lake you guys <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to add these feathers. Let's see. How do we want? I'm going to probably do two and two. This has a natural curve, so we'll probably just... Go something like this. What do you think? Yep, that's what we're going to do. Let's move these out of the way as much as we can. Let's just go to town. Let's just go to town. Whoops. Missed a spot. Oh my gosh. This is best. I love that I don't have to take my stuff to the glue gun. Can you bring my glue gun to what I'm working on? Oh my gosh. I might have overdone it, but <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. I love it. I love the over the top. I love the feathers. Okay, let's add more. Give yourself a nice glob of glue. And if your feather has a natural curve to it, go with it. We're going to go right. 
Red Fire. Now, you guys, I am going to put the blue beads on. I just love them. I'm going to put a huge glob of glue. <laughs> huge gob of glue. Glob of glue. And yes, careful because it is hot. But just hold it in place for a moment. These feathers are, um, they're just uh, crafting feathers. You can get all colors. In fact, I think I even got these from the Dollar Tree. You can trim them to size. Oh my gosh, you guys, what do you think? What do you think of my little decorations? My dollar, dollar, whoopsies. We might have to glue that on the outside. My dollar decanter decor. I love it. Let me see, have I forgotten anything? this out of the way we are going to go on to our next i'm going to end this video we are not going on to our next um dollar tree diy i'm going to end this video and i'm going to try to get a good picture for you guys i might i might glue this down i don't know you guys because i kind of i like it on the outside of the feather and it keeps going behind it so i'm probably going to glue that into place Try to get a good photo and I'm going to upload this video. So like, comment, subscribe, share. If you like this type of content, <laughs> subscribe to my channel. We would love to have you in the family. And if you tried, if you do this or one like it, oh my gosh, you guys, send me a picture. I would love to see what you've created. So don't forget, Father's Day is coming. These are perfect. Perfect. You guys, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.